very strange experience. Um, our daughter got up very early to go off and uh, she has to go and look after some horses and we heard this piercing scream at about seven o'clock and we came rushing out and she was looking out the window, my car, my car, it's gone. And there we looked out the window and there was this huge hole. We thought, well, could it really have gone down there? So I had a look round the outside of the hole into it and couldn't see the car anywhere. Um, so we were at that stage quite sure whether it had been stolen or, uh, you know, was actually in the hole. And then uh, you were able to perhaps look a bit more and to think about what had happened. What were your thoughts in those first few minutes? The, 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 the initial shock was very quickly overtaken by relief um, because, you know, had she been going out to the car when this happened, had she been in the car just pulling away when this happened, then obviously, uh, you know, if you look down the hole, you can see that the car is completely full of earth and, and it would have been absolutely horrendous. So, frankly, uh, that overtook any in, in initial thoughts of, uh, you know, shock really as to how lucky we are and how bad it could have been and so then the fire brigade came out and what did well, they say we, we, we called the police because really we didn't know what to do um so we called the police uh, and they said well we think this is an issue for insurance and for the council um so we don't think it's a police issue and the next thing we knew there was two panda cars and the, the fire engine turned up with the blue lights flashing and um you know we started to attract a crowd and they obviously were a bit concerned uh, about the potential for further subsidence, so they were quite keen for us to get out of the house, but I think people then quickly accepted that actually it's a fairly isolated problem. Um, but we've still been advised that we shouldn't be sleeping here, but uh, you know, we can use it during the day. The big question is, what do you think caused it? Was it all the rain we've had over the last few weeks or something else? We had a, a guy from Building Control uh, in High Wycombe and uh, Wycombe District Council his feeling is that it's a combination of factors, and yes, the, the wet weather is probably the final straw. But uh, you can see um, there's roots coming down from the land dive. Um, we've got soakaways coming uh, from, you know, obviously from the gutters. Um, and then the area is um, uh, quite widely known for the mining that used to happen here probably 150 years ago. Um, there used to be chalk mining, we think. Um, and there's supposed to be quite a lot of tunnels, uh, but I'm not sure that anybody quite knows exactly where they are. Um, so all the houses here are built on, on concrete rafts, but obviously that doesn't mean that things like drives can't disappear.